Thousands are returning to Aleppo as the local government begins to rebuild following years of conflict. One America's Kara McKinney has more on the reconstruction efforts. The acting governor of Aleppo declares an urgent need to rebuild the city's network of roadways. The order is part of an effort to better facilitate reconstruction in the city and to accommodate returning residents. This after Syrian President Bashar al-Assad recaptured Aleppo from rebel forces last December, following years of conflict that left thousands dead. Recently, the World Food Program played an active role in increasing access to food in parts of Syria, including Aleppo and Homs. My bakery has remained closed for more than five years since the civil war broke out, during which time the building was badly damaged. There used to be a giant hole in the ceiling, and now it's been fixed. All the equipment was stolen, but now we have a new set. Additionally, an Iranian company signed a deal last week restoring the supply of electricity to Aleppo following months of sparse availability. According to reports, Syria's central government is supporting the reconstruction of the country's largest city and business hub. This after most of Aleppo's basic structures, including homes, businesses, and hotels, have been leveled after nearly six years of conflict. At the time, I was a university student. The war affected my studies. Many people were forced to leave, but now things are better. Many houses have started rebuilding, and many places have reopened water supply. I hope Syria can resume to its pre-war condition, and those who have left homes can come back soon. However, on Monday, British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson claimed the UK and several other nations would not aid in Syria's reconstruction efforts as long as Bashar al-Assad remains in power. Kara McKinney, One America News.